saying goodbye to a bluegrass icon. Dr. Ralph Stanley once said, I'm thankful that I have lived long enough to become a legend and I hope I deserve it. Today, many people have traveled to rural Virginia to bid farewell to that mountain legend. Ralph Stanley's funeral is about to get underway here. It looks like people are just starting to file in. It's at the Hills of Home Park in McClure, Virginia. You can watch the entire service live on our second channel, this TV, or on our website, WYMT.com. Stanley died Thursday at his home after a battle with skin cancer. He was 89. And as the funeral gets underway, you know, Stanley sang about glory land many times. The lyrics say, weep not, friends, I'm going home. Up there will die no more. No coffins will be made up there. No graves on that bright shore. It's sure to be an emotional service tonight as some of the biggest names in country and bluegrass salute a man who never forgot his roots. WIMT's Tanner Hesterberg is live at the outdoor service with more. Tanner? That's right, Steve. The service oh, just getting looking. underway behind me. You can no, see hundreds of people morning. are here. They're now braving the heat and limited we, we, space we, 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 to pay their final respects to no, Appalachian Mandy. icon, Dr. Yeah. Ralph Stanley. Fans and friends of Dr. Ralph Stanley looked on as the casket carrying his body was carried onto the stage for one final show. Nancy Whited and her friends came from Richland, Virginia to say goodbye to a man they'll never forget. I feel sad in one way that he has departed from this life, but he's gone to a better life. Former Stanley Brothers road manager and longtime friend Melvin Goins, a bluegrass legend in his own right, says the good doctor's music will never die. In the merry month of June. It was the greatest music that ever happened in the United States and it cantered anywhere you want to go. Everybody loved his music and he got people's attention because he had this lonesome mountain sound that him and his brother Carter started back when his barefooted boys. Some people drove great distances to be here. Reverend Mark Sparkman traveled two and a half hours from Hueysville, Kentucky. There have been a lot of them going on and I've followed bluegrass and gospel music my whole life. And I will cherish my dreams with Ralph Stanley and the Carter family. Flowers, pictures, and other tributes encircle the casket, and perched next to it is a white dove, indicative of how Ralph Stanley's family, friends, and fans believe he's flown away to the glory land he so often sang about. And on that note, Steve, we he thought it would be apropos to end this report as we get ready to go watch the funeral. Of course, the recap is coming up tonight on Mountain News at 11. But we thought it would be good to leave you with the lyrics of his song, White Dove. We were all so happy there together in our peaceful little mountain home. But the Savior needs angels in heaven. And now they sing around the great white throne. We're live in Southwest Virginia, Tanner Hesterberg, WYMT Mountain News.